In this lesson, we're going to look at how we can use a spreadsheet to create a calculator. And this calculator will work at the area of a triangle. Now in front of me, I have a quick example. We have the base and the height. In these cells, I've just popped in the formula for reference. We're then grabbing the values that are input here and here, and then producing the final calculation in this cell here. Now these cells here are in green. The reason they're in green is this is where the user will input their values. So if I put in here 12 and press enter, you can see that all the other values will change. So let's go ahead and produce one. Well, here I have a blank spreadsheet. So the first step for you is to create a blank Google spreadsheet. And the next thing to do is to name your spreadsheet. Now I'm going to call mine area. And I might use this spreadsheet in the future to calculate the area of rectangles, parallelograms, trapeziums, etc. But for today, we're just doing a triangle. Down at the bottom of this tab here, we have this little drop down arrow. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to rename this triangle. Now in this cell here, B3, this is where I want my base length. So I just put base equals and press enter. And then in cell B5, I'm going to have height equals and press enter. In this cell here, C3 and this cell C5, this is where the user will input the values. So I'm just going to color those green. So I'll select that cell, hold down my command key and click on cell C5. Go to my fill icon and choose a fill color. I'm going to go for this light green. The next step is to pop in the formula. So I'm going to go down to this cell here, B8, and I'm going to type in that the area is equal to, and then press enter. And I know the area is the base multiplied by the height divided by two. So I'm going to represent that with B and H for a base multiplied by the height, press enter, and then I need a two in there. So this is going to be my fraction here. Now a fraction has a vinculum, so a line between the numerator and denominator. And the way I do that is I go to my border colors here, click on my border color, which is going to be black, it defaults to black. My border style, I'm going to choose this top line here, and then click on this cell here for the bottom border. And if I click off, I can see, and I have that vinculum. Now in terms of formatting, it doesn't look great at the minute. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to align these cells to the right. So I'm just going to click and drag, highlight those cells, go to my justification icon and align those to the right. I'm going to select this whole column here and I'm going to center this whole column and click off. And you can see I've got this fraction set up, which is the base multiplied by the height divided by two. So we're starting to get somewhere. In this cell here, B11, I'm going to continue with my formula. Now, you know from class, I like my equal signs to be aligned. So if I was to type in an equals and then press enter, I will get an error. And this is the error I got. And the reason for that is that Google Sheets is expecting a formula. I don't want a formula, I just want to type in an equal sign. Now to get around that, what I need to do is to type in an apostrophe and then the equals, and then I can press enter. And I'm just going to align that to the right. In here, I want to have the value of the base length, multiplication sign going here, and then the height in here, and obviously divide by two in this cell here. So I'm going to pop in a formula. It's going to be equal to the base length, which will be input in this cell. So I'll press on that cell there and press enter. And I can't see anything there. So what I might do is I might just pop in some default values. Let's put 10 in for the base and you can see 10 appears. Let's put in 12 for the height. Okay, so in this cell here, so I've got the base, so I want the base multiplied by the height. So in this cell, I need the multiplication sign, which I'm gonna represent by the X. So I'm not actually doing any calculations. I'm just showing the method. And in this cell, this is the height cell. So equals height and press enter. Again, these cells need to be aligned a little bit. So I'm going to align these to the 
center. I'm going to grab hold of all three columns, so click and drag across all three columns. And you can see when I hover between the columns, it changes from a hand to an arrow. When I've got the arrow, I'm just going to click and drag and just narrow that middle column and it will narrow all three columns. Now I need my vinculum across here. So I'm going to select these three cells, click on my border and click on the bottom border. And then in this cell here, this is where I put the number two. I'm just going to align that to the center. Okay, carrying with my method, obviously I want another equal sign here. So I do need that apostrophe equals and enter. And I'll just align that to the right. And in this cell here, this is where I want to multiply the base by the height. So I need to enter a formula. So the formula is going to be equals the base. So I'll click in the base cell. I want to multiply that by the height. Now in a spreadsheet, the multiplication symbol is the asterisk. So hold on your shift key and press the number eight. You get the asterisk. So that's the base multiplied by the height. So I need to click in the height cell and then press enter. And there I get 10 multiplied by 12, 120. Again, this will be a fraction. So I want a vinculum. So again, border, click on the bottom cell and then just pop in a two in there. Now the final step is to actually do that final calculation of the 120 divided by two. So again, I want my equal sign here. So apostrophe equals, press enter. We'll just align that to the right. And in this cell here, obviously I'm going to produce another formula, which is equal. It's equal to this cell here, the 120 divided by, now the division symbol is a forward slash and then click on the number two and press enter. So there I have the answer of 60, which is correct. Now I would say I would need to include units. I'm just going to assume that the units are centimeters. I, I could build in some way of doing this. I'm just going to type in centimeters for the time being. And obviously with it being area, it is centimeters squared. So I'm going to pop a little two in here. Now I need to format these cells. This centimeter cell, I'm going to align to the right. This cell here, I'm going to align to the left. And I'm going to click on this vertical align icon. I'm going to align that to the top. And that font is a little bit big. So I'm going to change the font size down to maybe seven. And there I have my centimeters squared. Now in class, you know that I like to double underline in red, that final answer. So I'm going to select these three cells here, go to my border, select my border color as red, and then I want the border style, click on that, and there I've got my double underline, and then click on the bottom border, and there I have my double underline in red. Now I can go ahead, I can change the base to whatever I want it to be, let's say 20, everything changes, change the height to maybe four, press enter, everything changes again. So this is a really handy little calculator for you to have. And if you want to do some extension work on this, you could click on to add a sheet and add other calculators, maybe for rectangles, parallelograms, trapezium, etc.